All right, hello. Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, my name is Bijan, if you're new here. Anyways, jumping right into it, we're going to do another just quick trade recap here for you guys. Um, I was trading BYND, Beyond Meat, and it was a pretty quick trade and a pretty good profit. Uh, 5500 on the profit. Uh, trade time, it was about like 30 minutes, just about. Um, I'm going to just try and keep this very short, sweet, and simple, straight to the point, see how quick I can do it. Just a trade recap, so no one complain if I'm not here saying, oh, well, you see, this happened here, and what I was studying for five years, learn this, learn that. Um, just a trade recap, you know what I mean? Nothing, nothing crazy here. Um, so I started in initially, I mean, it was like 30 seconds apart, honestly, like a minute or 30 seconds apart, my entries. I was in at 641 and then 642. I started in 25 contracts, then I added in another 25, and then I sold just not exactly half of it, but almost half. I sold 20 contracts a few minutes later. And then the rest of them I sold at 713. Uh, so the average price that I got in it at would have been, I mean, if we want to be specific, was 3.67, 3.68. And then I sold the first half, we'll say, the first 20 contracts. It was a pretty big trade. It was 50 contracts. Uh, you know, I'm usually not used to going that big, but hey, you got to slowly try a little bit. And that's also why I kind of wanted to make it, you know, partial of a morning momentum trade and also to kind of like hold a little bit for a little longer. Uh, but anyways, so the final of it I sold for 528 now, so obviously, just, just for my little ranting and rambling here, if I was still holding all 50 of them to the end, obviously that would have been a lot more profit, uh, would have been at least another like 2,400, I'd say, additional profit. So it would have been like a $7,500 profit, but uh, it's okay. So anyways, just jumping into it here, this right here at the 641 is where I got into it at. I kind of saw, saw that it was reversing a little right off of yesterday's uh, like closing price pretty much if you will obviously I gave it a little bit of time gave it a few candles got in it first and then as soon as I saw that we were shooting up and that we were holding that area and it looked pretty good uh, I went back I got into full size right there and then as we continued shooting 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 up this is where I sold out uh, about 20 of them not exactly half size but if you want to think of it this way you can think like it was two trades if you will first trade was from here to here quick morning momentum just like a quick bounce and then the second trade we can say it was from here to here uh, i closed it out right at the 133 area there initially i was hoping we could kind of go straight to the 135 area but when i saw that all right it kind of stopped i figured okay we might cool down we might continue to chop for the rest of the day I'm above the 132.50 area, might as well just take the profit, don't get greedy here. Um, if I had a next week expiration, I probably would have, I'm not going to say that, because obviously, you know, hindsight would have, could have, should have, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to try and be fair here. I'm not going to say that I would have confidently held the rest of the 30, but I can confidently say that I probably would have held at least half, if not 10 of the contracts if I had a next week expiration, but I didn't, I had a current week expiration. So obviously I had to kind of take that into account, adjust a little bit for that. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. Just a quick trade recap here that I want to kind of go over for you guys. I was mainly watching this area here. I mean, just to give you guys a little something, something for people that want it. I mean, obviously you guys can go pull up your own charts and can see kind of like the bigger picture of like what areas were really kind of, you know, acting as what, um, but anyways, okay, I'm going too far out now here. And this is where, gonna, where the rambling is going to start. Uh, but anyways, uh, there, there's so many different ways that you could have looked at this. It, I always try and tell people, don't try and follow somebody exactly to the specific T. Find out what works for you and, you know, kind of tag along based off of that. For example, with the watch list that I provide, I always tell people, hey, it's a list of a few. Now, it's not like there's 50 on there or 20 on there. We put, I try to keep it between like 5 to 10 on the day trading and 5 to 10 on the swing trading. But I always tell people, don't follow every single one exactly. First of all, not every single one is going to trigger. That's the first thing. But the second thing is for the ones that do trigger our entry price, you don't have to follow every single one. You can follow the ones that align best with your personal strategy. So anyways, here's where the rambling starts. It's like, man, I was really close to making this a short video. But anyways, I'm going to cut myself here, have some discipline on that end there. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, it was just a quick trade recap. Just kind of checking in with you guys, documenting here, documenting there. And also because I've been kind of trying to restrict myself from posting on Instagram too much. This is my way of kind of like, you know, you funnel your energy. You can't put it one way, you put it another way. You know what I mean? I like sharing this kind of stuff. 
Um, but anyways, that's pretty much that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can check the description for the links that you guys need to you know, associate yourselves with for the website if you want to join our chat room or our watch list. Or if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Who's Bijan T. You guys know the deal. You can check the links in the description. And I'm rambling. So we're going to cut it here. And I hope you all have a great day, great night, great life, whatever it is for you. Just have a great one.